Welcome to the David Pakman Show, day two from our new New York City headquarters. We will be talking about the fast food strikes coming up. I just walked by one of them, literally just blocks from David Pakman headquarters. I'm joined by producer Louis Motomedy in the Austin, Texas Bureau of the David Pakman Show. Louis, how's the weather there today? Uh, I haven't been outside yet, actually. I'm, I'm not really sure, but the past couple days have been pretty nice. Yeah, the weather seems to, to change very quickly there. Let's get right into it. The Fort Hood shooter, Nidal Hassan, has been sentenced to death. Of course, Nidal Hassan is the United States Army Medical Corps officer, a psychiatrist, who fatally shot and killed 13 people, injuring more than 30 others back in November of 2009. The uh, initial uh, at the initial courts martial uh, court martial, he admitted to the shootings and a jury panel of 13 officers convicted him on 13 counts and has now unanimously recommended that he be sentenced to death. This is the worst mass murder at a military installation in U.S. history. And Hassan is uh, turning 43 next month because of the shots that he sustained um, from military police in the course of the day of shooting, he is now paralyzed from the waist down and is uh, um, in a wheelchair, and he has been sentenced to death. Now, Lewis, let's let's discuss this a little bit. Um, I am against the death penalty, as most of our audience may know if they've been following this program for any length of time. I believe that it uh, that that the, it is barbaric for the government to decide to kill people. I believe that the even perfectly executed, the death penalty is antiquated and um, uh, 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 just a kind of uh, recalcitrant, irrelevant and not not really modern way of handling justice. And we know that it is often not executed properly. We have had uh, at least a couple of innocent people who who we know were executed, and we've had many many people exonerated from death row who were init initially sentenced to death. So. Putting that aside, Lewis, isn't it a worse punishment for Nadal Hassan to spend the rest of his life in prison? He is now wheelchair bound and, and paralyzed and he wanted to be a martyr and keeping him alive seems to me like a far worse punishment. Not that that's how we should decide, but the premise of the death penalty is that it is reserved for the worst crimes and it is the worst punishment. Also, when it's, uh, uh, you know, a military tribunal or whatever they're called. Um, I mean, death penalty usually, I think, is is a bit more um, common uh, when when things like this go down, even though it's very rare, of course. Yeah, but it can, I, it can I, be more common. But I don't know if you know this, that in military cases, when there is a death penalty conviction sentence, there are several mandatory appeal stages and that every military death sentence requires final approval from the president. So this is going to be a very long thing. Even with the death penalty sentence, he may never actually be executed. Well, from what I understand, he wants to be executed. Uh, he defended himself. He actually gave no defense at all intentionally, and he, he wants to die. See, there's and conflict on that because his attorney has said he doesn't have a death wish. But at the same time, he sees himself as a martyr and the way to be uh, fully martyred would be to to be killed. Right. That that seems to be it. And that seems to be common among people of, of his mindset. The, I mean, there's another part of this, and that is being paralyzed. You require so much extra care and money when you are being held right when you're in, in prison uh, for the rest of your life in condition like that. And I don't know. I mean, that that's another way to look at it. I mean, the fiscal aspect. Right. He like maybe this. he is he would be maybe would take pleasure in draining the system even more by by remaining alive. I mean, there's so many complicated issues. But what I get back down to always is that I am against the death penalty and the death penalty should be abolished as it is in more and more U.S. states.